Use it or lose it is the motto we like to use. Right over here on the right side, you're looking at the words called synapse. I bet half of this group doesn't know what a synapse is because you probably don't remember your biology class in high school. I did until I went through all this extensive training a while back. At birth, we've got 100 billion neurons. Now, scientists argue whether or not neurons can reproduce themselves, and the majority of them, 99.9%, say no. So what you're born with, you pretty much get. Then, a neuron is no good. It's just like a computer coming off the assembly line. It doesn't have anything happening until we do something with it. We have a trillion synapses going on in these little babies' heads by the age of eight months. A trillion. That's a lot of stuff. That's 700 per second. So at three months, this is what their brain wiring looks like. Six months, it's really busy. Fourteen years, it's, it looks better, doesn't it? That's called pruning. We get rid of unused, unsignificant neurons. Sensory pathways are the yellow line here. This is the big takeaway. If your hearing and your vision isn't wired up right, the ability for a baby to wire up as maximum as he can isn't going to happen if he can't hear and see and smell. So we want things to go well. The brain growth goes all the way to age 20, but 80% of it's done by age 3. That is critical to note because we think we learn everything in high school or grade school. Babies learn everything in the first three years in order to get wired up. 72,000 people, babies, are living in poverty in Memphis. That's 40% of our children. That's double the national average, and the number's not changing over the last several years. Here are the stats. They're not pretty. The pretty part is 14,000 babies. 70% are born into low incomes. 11% are born below birth weight. 16% teenage mothers. Go to under age 5, lots of exposure to violence. Here is the pie chart again. Over 60% of our families are in low income. Wealth, according to this chart, is income of 75,000 or above. Their poverty is 10,000 or below for household income. So what happens? You start off life in a tough situation, and it isn't going to get better. It just gets worse. Your neurodevelopment gets disrupted, and bottom line, you get all the way to the top, and you have an early death. These children, when they're born in this kind of situation, basically have a ball and chain that they drag through the rest of their life. And two of the big items are the poverty that we just talked about and the violence we just talked about. Hard to get ahead when you're starting behind. So what happens when you have an unequal start? 80% of the schools, um, more than one third, change each year. Kids moving all over this city. I love the idea of the power school. Um, when you're behind, these kids are, are going to fast forward exponentially compared to the kids that are starting below. What do we do about it? Think about it. I, I lost my words. I just wrote my data out. Model preschools have better readiness for um, kindergarten. That's important. Everybody undercuts kindergarten. You've been hearing a lot about it in the news. It's important. You've got to have these zero to three. Because once you're behind, you don't all of a sudden advance one day because the very godmother put dust on you. you you've got to, you have to have the equal start. Investment, this is the big one. More return on the investment in zero to three than a high school. You put $15,000 into a preschool program, you're effectively going to get $250,000 back because you're going to lower uh, welfare. You're going to have income coming in. They're going to pay taxes. The community becomes a stronger place to be because you've got a zero to three child going on the right start. According to the Memphis Talent, talent Dividend, 1% growth in college attainment equals $1 billion to our economy. Right now, there's data out from that group that says it's working. But it won't work forever because we've got to work the bottom up too. So, philanthropists help. If, you, if you're involved with policymakers, contact them. Professionals, Volunteer. Lots of people need help getting the message out. So do these things and get um, get going. Because the Urban Child Institute, if you're interested in helping the zero to three cause through policymakers or through volunteering, we want to hear from you. That's the website, theurbanchildmemphis.org.